Hello everybody, it is Jayfrey back again, and as you can see, we are standing in the nether, except it looks a little bit different. Today, we are going over the Better Nether mod. This mod completely updates the way that the nether dimension looks by adding a whole bunch of new biomes, plants, and even mobs. This video will just go over each of the new awesome biomes and the plants and mobs that you can find inside each of them. Before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe. This helps me out more than you know, and you also get to join our awesome community. Now let's get right into it. The first biome that this mod adds is the Nether Bone Reef. The Bone Reef is completely covered in mushroom grass, and you may find some other plants here, like feather ferns, nether reeds, or even jellyfish mushrooms that you can jump on. It's characterized by these giant bone structures which you can harvest to use as bone meal or just as decoration, and they also have these little bone mushrooms that grow on them. The entire ceiling of the bone reef biome is covered by these lumabus lanterns which hang down and also glow to give you some light. There is also another version of the bone reef called the sulfuric bone reef, and this one is almost exactly the same, except it has a lighter green grass, called sepian mushroom grass, and it has golden lumavis lanterns instead, but it still looks very cool. Our next biome is the Crimson Glowing Woods. This is a super cool biome, and it has tons of crimson trees in it, and at the tops of these are lots and lots of shroom lights that you can harvest. The roof of this biome is covered in glowing golden vines which you can harvest and use as a light source, and the floor is also covered in different types of mushrooms, and also these wart seed blocks. A few different mobs from this mod spawn in this biome too, like the hydrogen jellyfish and the flying pig. There's another biome that's similar to the Crimson Glowing Woods, and it's called the Crimson Pine Wood. This biome is almost identical to the Crimson Glowing Woods, except it has bigger trees, and it uses netherwort blocks as leaves instead of shroom lights. It's still pretty cool, though. The next biome up is just slightly uninhabitable, and it is called the Flooded Deltas. This biome is very similar to the Minecraft Basalt Deltas, except it's completely covered in lava, making it a little bit harder to traverse. It also has these cool blackstone and basalt stalactites that you can come here and collect. It makes it a pretty neat little biome. The next biome up is a pretty mundane one, and it is called the Gravel Desert. Now as you can imagine, this is just a desert, but completely made of gravel. It does have a few cool things in it though, like these nether cacti, these barrel cacti, and also these pink agave that grow everywhere, making it worth your time to come here just to gather some of these cute little plants. The next biome up is another cool one, and it's called the Magma Lands. This biome has a floor that's completely made of magma blocks and red sand, and a whole bunch of cool plants that grow on top of it, like these black bushes, and also these cool magma flowers. There's also tons of these little geysers on the ground which throw lava particles everywhere, making it look a little more lively in here. The ceiling is also covered in the golden glowing vines, and you'll find these awesome obsidian glass structures in here too. The next biome up is a little bit scary and has a creepy atmosphere. It is the nether grasslands. This biome has a whole bunch of biome specific plants in it, like these cool new smoker plants, black apple bushes, and even ink bushes. There is also a biome similar to the nether grasslands, and it is called the poor nether grasslands. This one is almost identical, except it has a lot less plants that grow in it. The next biome up is an awesome one. It is the nether jungle, and this biome has almost every single plant from the mod in here. From the little jellyfish mushroom on the ground, to the glowing vines from the ceiling, and even these rubius trees that grow everywhere else. 
There are also biome-specific mobs that you'll find in here, like the jungle skeleton who will attack you. It's also filled with these giant bone blocks, which make it fun to explore and find different loot in here. Overall, it's a super unique biome, and if you're into collecting all the different nether plants, then this is a perfect place to come to get all of them. Next up is another unique biome, and it is the Nether Mushroom Forest. This mushroom forest has all of the different types of mushrooms that you can imagine in it, like the regular Minecraft brown mushrooms and the red mushrooms, but even these small little mushroom fir trees and also these giant mold saplings. Even on the ground, there's small different mushrooms that you can collect, making it a unique biome to visit and collect all the different resources from. If you think that the swamp in the overworld is boring, then hopefully the new nether swamp makes up for it. This biome is filled with these giant willow trees, and on the bottoms of the willow leaves have these awesome glowing willow torches. These willow trees cover the entire biome and light it up, making it look beautiful, so it's awesome to come here and try and gather some of these resources. There's also a smaller version of the Nether Swamp called the Nether Swamp Terraces, and these are filled with giant lava pools surrounded by nether reed, but still include the awesome willow trees. The next biome is similar to the mushroom forest biome that we already saw, except it only includes the common red and brown mushrooms, but there are also giant versions of them. This biome is the Nether Fungi Woods. This biome has giant brown and red mushroom trees that you can climb and collect cool resources from, and there's also some golden vines that hang down that you can collect to make your area glow as well. The next biome up is one that's very similar to the Warped Forest biome that's already in Minecraft, except it is the Old Warped Forest. This biome just has less trees in it, but they are huge, and they also have these awesome black vines that hang down. The next biome up is a smaller one and has a more somber feel to it. It is the Soul Plains. The Soul Plains is made completely out of soul sand and also soul soil, but it has some cool new plants that grow on it, like the soul grass and a bunch of other ones. This biome is a good area to build a little nether house because it is so clear and you also get the pretty purple soul grass flowers outside. The next biome up is probably my favorite one in the mod, and it is the Upside Down Forest biome. On the ground of this biome, all you can see are bunches of broken trees and old tree trunks, but as soon as you look up, there's an entire Upside Down Forest. This forest is filled with these awesome nether sakura trees which have beautiful pink blossoms in them, and also these anchor trees which have these vines that stretch down to the ground. There's also these neon aquasetum which are so beautiful to look at. You can see that the tree trunks start on the roof, and you can follow them all the way down to the ground where the leaves are instead of where the roots would normally be. The last biome that the Better Nether mod adds is one that's kind of familiar to people and is the Netherwort Forest. This biome is of course filled with different types of nether warts including these ginormous netherwort trees. If you're gonna be brewing a lot of potions then this biome is perfect for you because it's completely filled with nether warts and it also has these new awesome sololies in it.
This mod also adds a few new structures into the game, like this new ruined nether portal. You may also find these teeny tiny little altars around your world too. One of the more useful structures is one called the Nether Gardens. This has a whole bunch of different nether reed growing in it, and there's also stacks of it here that you can take. If you're exploring the nether and happen to come across a little bit of nether wart sticking out of the wall, then you better be careful because you may have just stumbled across a gas nest. This is an awesome little structure that has loot in it, but will also spawn ghasts as soon as you step foot in there. If you're traveling near lava, then you may come across one of these little basalt temples, and inside, it has a little pigman trophy. Along with nether fortresses in the nether, you may stumble across these new, amazing nether cities. These are awesome cities that are made completely out of blocks from the mod, and have little versions of the biomes inside so you can get different types of trees, saplings, and exclusive items in here. It's an amazing sprawling city, but be careful because there is still danger that can be found here, along with all the different treasures. Now that we've gone over all of the biomes and structures that you can find in this mob, we can now go over some of the cool little mobs that you'll find along the journey too. First up are these awesome little mobs called fireflies. These guys are tiny and completely passive, and all they do is light up your world, so they're super nice tiny companions that also light up your journey. You may also find these cool giant orange floating things in the nether, and these are called hydrogen jellyfish. These guys look super awesome, but make sure to stay away because one punch can completely explode an entire area. The next mob up is a bit of a scary one, and it is the Naga. The Naga looks like a mix between a snake and a wither skeleton, and for good reason, this mob is completely hostile towards the player, and if you get anywhere near it, it will launch powerful wither blasts towards you to try and kill you. If you happen to cross paths with one of the Nagas, it is best to just run away and try and avoid it because they are pretty powerful. The next mob up is another cute one, and it is the Flying Pig. These guys are completely passive and will just fly around your netherworld to make it look cute. They are also a good source of food in the nether if you're willing to kill them, which I wouldn't. Look how cute they are. They also like to take lava baths, apparently. The next mob up you'll find in the nether jungle, and that is, of course, the Jungle Skeleton. The jungle skeletons look almost identical to Minecraft skeletons, except they're covered in a cool bluish green moss. You'll find these guys pretty commonly around the jungle, except they'll be hard to see of course because the jungle is completely covered in plants, so make sure to be on your guard for them because they can run pretty fast at you too. The last mob on our list is of course the skull. The skull is what it sounds like, a fiery skull that'll chase after the player in desolate biomes and try and kill them. They're not super hard to avoid though, but they can deal a little bit of damage if they come in contact with you. That is all for the better nether mod though. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which mod you would like to see reviewed next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye